Good morning, everyone. Are you all ready for... Oh, I feel like this has been the worst and the best kept secret for a little bit of a while, hasn't it? <laughs> they are back, pretty in pink. Our goodie boxes are here for 2024. Um, aren't, aren't, first of all, these are really cute boxes. They are so cute. Absolutely adorable. We're going to be opening three of them today. Each one of our goodie boxes contains a minimum of £80 worth of products. Now we say that, but we know mm -hmm. that it's a little bit more than £80, Definitely. doesn't it? The, I, the minimum yeah. of this. Um, there's loads and loads of fantastic goodies throughout here. You're going to find topper sets. You're going to find prism. Um, there's going to be uh, duo design paper pads, deluxe craft pads. It's pocket pads. Pocket pads, dies, yeah, some stamps. Sorts. It is honestly filled to the brim um there's loads and loads of information that we do need to let you know though um so please note that they are only available for uk mainland customers however if you are overseas do not worry because Anne marie is at hobby maker tomorrow and you will be able to purchase your goodie, goodie boxes through hobby maker that means as well if you are over in america you're going to be able to get your goodie boxes through hobby maker so Stay tuned for tomorrow's show. You can order up to four boxes um, and we can guarantee that the goods in all of those boxes will be different. Now that has to be four boxes in one order. You can buy another four boxes if you like to, but we cannot guarantee that across those eight boxes, you won't have sort of like same things. Mm -hmm. um, so be really careful about that. It is limited to four boxes per order. So with every order you can make, it is four boxes. They are non-returnable once you've opened them. Um, and... Um, they are available for dispatch from the 18th of March. Um, so get your orders in um, and you are going to be able to get them. They're, they're actually sending them out already, aren't they? They're today, Yeah, it's the 18th today, isn't it? So They are ready leaving. to go. Um, but before we get started and open one of these fantastic boxes, let's have a look at this week's Win It Weekly. I was looking around for it then thinking where was it it's here <laughs> this is cool um this week we are giving you Ooh. the chance to win our aqua adorable score uh, scoreboard uh, we have three winners for this one as well this is really really cool good prize. um it's a really good prize isn't it we love our scoreboards here we probably definitely all have one of each don't we yeah for sure. um <laughs> because they're just so good i love this color as well i think it's perfect for every sort of crafter out there um the question of this week is of course just magnificent we need you to like share and comment um what unusual pet did french poet gerard de nerval de nerval yeah work walk on the streets of paris so what unusual pet did the french poet walk on the streets of paris was it a a chicken b a lobster or c a monkey this is such a bizarre question it's very random isn't it so random i'm trying to think how this makes sense to what <laughs> no, I still don't understand. It's World Poetry Day on Thursday. Oh, okay. Kind of makes sense. A little bit weird, though. Uh, but Some if you want odd, yeah. a chance to win this, then like, share, and comment <laughs> with your answer, and we're going to announce the winners on Friday's show. Um, it could get crazier, it could get less crazier, who knows. <laughs> uh, before we get started though, and open our first box, enjoy this little VT. Becca is here to tell you all about our fantastic goodie boxes. Hunky Dory's much anticipated goodie boxes are back for 2024. Packed full with a whole load of crafting goodies for just 30 pounds. We have handpicked your favorite topper collections, stamps, inserts, moonstone dies, and so, so much more. Each goodie box contains over 80 pounds worth of Hunky Dory treats. Make sure you tune into our Hunky Dory TV shows for live unboxings and a sneak peek of just some of the treats that are available in our goodie boxes. Head over to hunkydorycrafts.co.uk and order yours today. 
are you ready to open our first goodie box? This is always my favourite part, just opening them and seeing. Because I've not been in the office since Wednesday, so I've not seen any goings on. No. Or I just had the email with like, what is going to be in them? Yeah. But this is all, regardless of if you know or not. This it's is random, always it? there's, there's the random the best bit to say, and it's always like it's going to be a deluxe craft pad, or but you don't know which. But you don't one. know, yeah, yeah. And there's so many that we have. So let's have a look inside the box, shall we? First of all, you are going to receive your fantastic discount code. Everyone is going to have one of those in there, which is super, super awesome, and it gives you ten percent off um, any orders before April the eighteenth. Already. Right. This is a pretty good one. In terms of like the variety of products mm. we've got, this is really good. Are you ready? Gnome Sweet mm. Gnome Little Book. Now I mean, this little book sold out. That's a good start. Ten pounds. Ten pounds yeah. right there. And this sold out. That's one um, third of this your price. It's incredible. <laughs> then we have some low tack tape. Nice. Always an absolute essential for any crafter. A gorgeous stamp set. Oh, I this love this one. This one's so, so pretty with that home sweet home and that gorgeous um, window there. We have a cutter card die. Ooh. So that stamp there, £8. So we're already we're, at I think we're 18 at What? Uh, Even if it's £2, like, we've got to be at £35 with that die now. With that die, definitely. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Absolutely huge. You're in my thoughts with that gorgeous uh, frame in there. If you want to swip out, switch out the sentiment as well, it's so easy to do so. I don't even think so. I've seen that die. Do you not? No. I'm, you're questioning whether I've seen it now. But it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Um, the snippability on this die yeah. as well. You could just cut off the sentiment and then take that out and then replace it with happy birthday, any sentiments. It could beautiful. be the home sweet home from that stamp set. Um, toppers. Wow. There's a lot in here. Ooh. These are topper sets. So you've got your topper and you've got both card stocks in here. Look at this Art Deco. Absolutely my favourite image from mm. the Art Deco collection. We've got the Butterfly Botanica in here. Nice. This one's a good one as well. Again, uh, you've got your two card stocks with that one. Adorable Scorable Pattern Packs. Ooh. And this is one of those 24 sheet yeah, packs. Yeah, it's the old format, isn't I mean, it? So that's all, a £10 one. That's so good. Then we've got some topper favourites. We have got the really fun <laughs> pirate topper set. We've got Call of the Wild um, decoupage oh, nice. topper. So you've got two on there. Uh, then we have, oh, this is good. I never know whether to start with the inserts Ooh, or the actual thing. I've seen it. <laughs> Look what we have. You are getting a full collection and coordinating inserts and papers. Oh my goodness. I mean, that alone is £30. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. This Incredible is value, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. So you're paying for this. But you're getting everything else <laughs> for free. We've got toppers, we've got cardstock, we've got a die, we've got a stamp, we have a little book. I don't think oh. there's very much missing from our library of different styles of craft that we have got. It's such an amazing this cross section, one. isn't it? And I think what I love so much about the everyday goodie boxes that we do is how much variety and styles you've mm. got within it um because everything's so different i mean we've got nose we've got art deco we've got fairies you can't get any different than that i don't know what you want to take um, uh, I'm do you want the you whole pick. box no, I'm oh you choose. really yeah oh no <laughs> there's just so much good stuff let's see I've got enough decisions to make when I get it. <laughs> this is true. This is true, actually. I'm wondering. What are you thinking? I don't know. I'm wondering if you could use this decoupage topper with mm. this adorable scoreable. We can give it a try. Because we've got some nice orange in that yeah. pelican. Anything else you world. would like? Uh, I don't think so at the moment. No. I think. Well, I'll pop it over here just in case yeah. you want to pinch anything else. Let's have a look what we've got in here because that one on the front is quite strong, but there are some. There are some really nice, delicate ones. Look. This is a challenge. This is nice. This is a challenge for you we've here. We've got that one. There's this one as well, which is a little bit more muted. So many people joining us this morning. Hello to you all. Loads of people. Um, 
pre-ordering their goodie boxes yesterday. Um, loads of people saying how much incredible value there was in that first box. We've got yep. two others to open for you today. And then throughout the week, we're going to be opening boxes every single day um, for you to see what different types of things you could be receiving and how you could be using um, what you get in your box together. Okay. Oh, Tanya says, I wish you could do a goodie box that just has embellishments in. Oh, okay. These are all good ideas. Throw yeah. them at us. We're always open to ideas for our, for new goodie boxes. We do like... Um, a prison goodie box would be quite cool, wouldn't it? That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. We'll, we'll throw all the ideas or back if you like, I don't know if you could pick like a moonstone one or... Oh, yes. So it was particularly set to like... Maybe like a style of crafting yeah. UI. Watch this space, people. Yeah, we like um, we like ideas, definitely. Okay, let's just get our foam pads on here. So I'm just being super quick and just going in with our strip on Loads the back of Loads of people, Anne-Marie, are guessing B for the Win It Week. I was going to say uh, lobster. Could you imagine? Um, would you, you wouldn't walk very far, would you? I mean, I can't imagine that they're very fast although i've not seen one walking properly walk no. so I, I couldn't i couldn't actually I comment they're fast swimmers but walking is yeah a, is a little bit different isn't it but they do have quite a lot of legs don't they they do so so maybe they are might be they, quite quick. they make up for and i wonder do, they, their... do you think they walk sideways like crabs or oh i've never actually thought <laughs> yes. there you go you don't have to google this do lobsters walk sideways if you're going to give us uh, crazy questions, we're going to come back with crazy, crazy answers. queries. Because <laughs> then you really wouldn't get far if you were having to walk sideways. Exactly. Oh, oh. They do all, all of the above. There we go. Who knew? Okay, let's just grab all of these out of here. And then we will get putting this together and then we'll look about how we can pop these two bits and pieces together. Okay, uh, let's get our sentiment as well. Dawn says, good morning, pre-ordered two goodie boxes yesterday. And as soon as I received the email, um, Louise says, opening the box is more exciting than opening the envelope at the Oscars. <laughs> Agreed, yeah. Let's put him on there and then add him onto here. I love this one with the little puff in. It's just so cute. Karen says, um, lobsters can walk forwards, backwards and sideways, but when needed to move fast, they tuck their tails um, under their abdominums and rapidly propel themselves backwards. Oh. It's like a, like a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> move their tail and off they go. Who knew? Yeah, it's not something I've ever... Vicky says, I don't think spring cleaning and trying to watch this is going to work very well. Absolutely uh, not. No, Down definitely tools. not. Yeah. You don't want to be... Uh, you don't want to be doing things like that anyway. There's Unless some, you're organising your crafty stuff. There's some great um, sort of like watercolour-esque background in that topper that you've got there though, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous. Even if you didn't have any kind of cardstock that would work with this, you could create something like this. I was just thinking that pens, it would you? look really cool. Okay, let's get this last little piece on that's come together quite quickly. There we go. And then let's have a look at all these different pieces of cardstock. So they're all kind of quite muted towards the top. So I think we can kind of pull out any of these, to be honest. That one's got a bit of blue in over here, um, as does this one. But I think I quite like the first one, if I'm honest. I like the little bit of clouds in there. So let's just... And the orange still works really nicely as well. It got does. sort of colours coming from the, the puffin's beak. It does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this to... I'm going to go four and three quarters to get this initial kind of matte and layer for this to go on. Laura says, I pre-ordered my box yesterday with the trolley. Nice. That's a very, very good parcel coming your way. Definitely. 
and then I'm going to go five and a half with this one so that we can kind of bring nice. that orange in and I'm going to grab some gold to do some mats and layers I might actually bring this just a smidge smaller actually so that we can see a little bit more of that orange let's see if we can let's go to four tighten that up a little bit round our puffins and then we'll just see a little bit more of that orange as well and then just three notches up so we've got a nice chunky gold border on here so that will just sit perfectly into there that way I think just tightens that up a little bit on there as well but then it just gives us more of that mm, kind of pop of orange really on there nice. as well it's so cute isn't it um and if you've got your color wheel you will you will see blue and orange work yes they're complementary they are complementary on your color wheel so you can get away with kind of putting those kind of colors together so i'm just going to look if we've got a little bit of a double scoreable in in a blue but i'm after a particular blue and i'm not are sure are you after the rainy stormy blue yeah Oh, hmm. Let's have a look at Are that. there any adorable scoreballs on the side in here? Because I just think a little pop of blue might. Let me see what we can find. I'll start putting some layers together. But I think that little pop of blue just might kind of bring everything, everything in together. So let's just get this matte and layer on first. So onto our goals and let's get a card blank as well going then we're ready for that so I'm gonna go six by six hopefully we can find one in here nope six by four nope seven by five what are these oh my goodness Jess it's carnage in here there's loads of card blanks, but there's never the one you want. So we're going to trim down. <laughs> it's typical, isn't it? And then later, when I'm not looking for a six by six, I'll find one. There we go. So let's get that trimmed down. So I think when that's on there, if we just have a little pop of blue around the sides, I think that will really tie all of this together nicely. So let's get some foam pads to get, oh, they're silver. Oh no. Is this upsetting anybody that we've got silver and gold? <laughs> I don't know if the colour is any of these. I don't, is it from the Matastic? Oh, I might be thinking matte. It's all right though, I've got that blue. I think we can make it work. Um, I've just realised though that our puffins are silver. Oh. And we've all got gold. But it doesn't offend me. Because we've gone quite orange, haven't we? Which, so I with feel like colours. we have to go gold with that. I only really noticed it then. So I feel like it kind of works. I'm not upset by it. No. So let's get a little pop of this blue and see how it looks. So I went five and a half with that orange matte and layer. So if I go to there, again, three notches up, so it's kind of a chunky-ish border, and pop this on. Is it that one? No. No. Yeah. No, this is okay. Oh. This works. I think we can... That actually does work really It does, nicely. and then if we just tie it all up with a little bit of white around the edges... Nice. I think that works quite nicely. Good, uh, good selection, Natalie. So let's get that on to here. I mean, we have mixed all sorts here. We have so mixed, many things. Um, but it just shows it doesn't matter some of the stuff doesn't work together like no. it's not meant to be you can always, you can always pull make it bits work, and pieces together that you have so we've used um 
Matt Tastic adorable scoreable as well, but then we put actual adorable scoreable with it. So you can totally mix and match. Oh, things. we've got a debate on the the comments now. Are you a mixer of mirror or are you not? It is a, it's you know a thing, isn't it? I'm not normally. Um, and we could we could have instantly fixed this by just putting that gold layer as a blue one. Yeah. Um, which also would work. But I think if I put this in really close, you'll be able to see. <laughs> it's not. It isn't offensive, and I'm normally not a mixer. No, I think all. it works. Yeah. I think it really, really works. There's loads and loads of comments um, of, on here. Um, I'm trying to see one. Mary says, goodie boxes only for the UK. They are only for the UK here. However, if you order them from Hobby Maker tomorrow with Amory at one o'clock, you will be able to ship them from the um, to the US to the US. Yeah. So if you're in the US or if you're in other parts of Europe, will they send them there as well? I don't. I think it's only. Is it just the US? UK and US. UK and yeah. US. Um, but yes, unfortunately, the sizes of these boxes and obviously the weight of the boxes, um, we can only send them to the UK mainland. Um, that also does include Northern Ireland as well. Um, so you can get them if you are based in Northern Ireland too. Um, and then there was another question that I need to answer as well um, about our purple box and our um, clear uh, toolbox they are exactly the same one's purple one is clear okay are we ready let's have a look at our second box so oh, I don't know what's going to be in here now I know, I'm very it's going to be a nice surprise though totally I just love how my my favourite first bit is just opening it, just opening it and seeing what's on top. Yeah, absolutely adorable. The pink is just perfect, isn't it? The perfect pink. It Ooh, so cute. okay. This is another good one. So again, you've got your discount code included in that. This is a really good one. Are you ready? I'm excited. Look at this moonstone die. What? Our butterfly trellis. Love this that die is set. such a good die. Great oh. for shakers. Um, great for putting panels oh on your cards. Putting inking. this over your, um, your ombre uh, shimmer card. Shimmer card. Oh. It looks incredible. This already is fourteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So that's half, half your box. Yep. Half your box in the first item. We've then got our crafty tool uh, glue pen. Nice. One of those in there. A gorgeous floral stamp set. This is the, um, let me just move that down, Sweet Pea Posies. <laughs> oh, that is cute. This is really nice. Cutting that out, colouring it, and then um, sticking it on top of your butterflies card so already. Nice. We've got gemstones for you. They're in there. We have a little book of wizardry. Ooh, Look at one this. One of my favourites, this one. Look at this. Sentiments, images. This is so that one's cool. had to be reprinted so many times. And it's just, <laughs> and this is the thing: these boxes are not filled with just random no. stuff. These, no, these, these boxes are filled with great products. Things that you can buy on the website. Oh my goodness! I know. Wow. Our special days gold foiling trim me insert pad. You're getting that one included in here no all joke. of those fantastic occasions these are on the 9.99 like 11.99 11.99 11.99 and i'm, I'm constantly sure being reprinted always on the machine constantly <laughs> being reprinted they are a best seller here at hunky dory we've got our colored block pads nice. in the neutral so a brand new product yeah 799 um, look at all of the different colors this is perfect when you've got all of this is perfect oh my goodness to work with this <gasps> yeah you've got so many different tones and colors that go together there um oh i love this collection oh, oh this wow. is our floral elegance with that gorgeous that texture. textured foiling so so beautiful it's like confetti um We've then got some more decoupage toppers for... Oh, no, this is oh, a full decoupage kit. Oh, nice. You've got cardstock and everything. This is decollage in there. Uh, we've got... This one's one of my favourite oh, pick-and-mix toppers we have ever done. It's so, so fun. Uh, we've also got Lancy and Air. We launched that in September, um, one of those. And then... Oh, this is a good one. We have got for you a mix of inserts oh i don't know what's going to be in there. Lots of ones in there hasn't it 
Yes, this first yeah. one's pearlescent. Can you see that? Can we? You oh, might not be able to so see it because pretty. of the packaging. It's like a shimmery, a shimmery insert. And then we have our Watercolor Escapes Fabulous Finishes Concept Ooh. Card Collection. This is incredible. You can make our Paramount pop-out window cards, like these ones here, and this makes eight complete cards with envelopes, everything you need. That's amazing. This that's is a good box. Isn't it? Yeah. So with that in your die, that's your box paid for. That's your for. box paid for and everything else is just a bonus. Um, what should we go for this time? Do you want to pick? I don't know. Should we let Jess pick? Jess, do you want to pick? <laughs> what? The concept cards? Yeah. That's nice Let's do easy. it. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Oh, so many pretty flowers in here. I, I really wow. like this collection for all of the different designs that we've got in here. Oh, this is so gorgeous. And it's got textured foil. Um, okay, I feel like we should go daffodils. Yes. Because it just feels... Oh, I love seeing the daffodils. Do you know what makes me laugh, though? Is I know that people like plant daffodils and stuff, but it's just the random ones that you see. Yeah. Like, where do they come from? They're so funny, aren't they? They're just so cute. We have, at home, we have... Um, I've got quite a lot of houseplants, and... Um, quite often, Mark I have something will, to tell you about house plants. Mark home. will repot them like just randomly, uh, which is good because I don't. So Mark will do all the repotting and everything. Um, and we have one that has had hyacinths in it. It's had carrots in it, like where we've kind of grown them at home. Yeah. Not successfully, uh, and now it's got a like a trailing plant that I propagated from a, a cut off a, yeah. another one. So this soil is still in this pot that's had all three of these different plants in. So it's got this lovely trailing, like, hanging plant, but then it's also got shoots coming out of it, which I think are hyacinths. This is cool, though. <laughs> this is very also cool. Little shoots, which I'm thinking maybe carrots. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get all our bits and pieces out. So we need the front and we need a back, essentially, and we need all of our paramount kind of layers. So let's just grab everything we need for this one card first of all we've got two different sentiments so we can have with love and best wishes and happy birthday we need our little butterflies as well so let's grab those gorgeous little decorative elements and then we also have that border at the top as well so let's just snip that out the texture on here is incredible it's like um I don't know, it's like splattered, it's just beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna go to this card and we're gonna push out the middle of here as well because this topper that's in the middle actually becomes like our base topper. So these will layer up on top of here to create that pyramage effect. So let's get that on first. So much love for that last card. Myra says, perfectly pretty puffin card. I love the orange black background. The gold goes with the orange and the blue with the silver. Yeah, absolutely worked, didn't it? Okay, let's get these on. I love those little puffins, they're so cute. Um, no, that way. There we go. Just getting these on. Making sure everything's the right way up. And just find yourself a little point to kind of line up to. And if you're struggling to line them up, just get your purple glue stick out and give it a little a little wiggle on the back to get the, the movement if you need to. There this is a go. really cool concept card as well. I definitely feel like we should do another style like this. Definitely. It's just so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we're going to fold along here. I'm going to read it from the instructions so we know what we're doing. So press out the top and frame from the foiled card front and fold it in half. So this is our front. So that's just got the one score in there. So let's just give that a good crease along there. And then with the image facing up, fold along the score lines on the inner panel to create a valley, mountain and valley fold. So I'm going to go valley, oh, mountain, Oh, Anne-Marie, you've upset people. Oh, Michelle what? says, you mean the purple glue stick that's out of stock? Yeah, that's the one. 
Some people might have them in their stash, though, Michelle. Some people might have them in their stash. Some people, some people might know Dan so well and also, that they over-order. We just need to keep calling him out. We do. We just need to keep calling I him out. I don't think it's too long now, is it? No, they're actually on their way. It's it's a true story. They're, they're coming. So what you essentially are creating is this kind of shape. So you can see from the top there, you almost have that like kind of square diamond shape in the centre. So everything folds flat still, but it gives you that really cool kind of, almost like an accordion, isn't it? It's such a cool effect. So let get, let's get this all stuck together. So we're going to pop tape onto here. And I'm going to put tape around this frame part here. Um, we have a question as well from Carol. She says, do we know what's in the boxes before we open them? We absolutely have no idea. No, no clue. Um, we have we have a list of... We have a list of like product types. Yes. So we'll know that there's topper sets in there. We know that there could be trimmy insert pads in there. We know that there could be colour blocks, ink pads, ink pads um, primary we just know craft the tools, types, prism. Yeah, product types. So we know product types, but in terms of like specifics, we have no idea what's no in clue these boxes. Whatsoever. So we're just just going with the flow. Yeah. It's the, it's the best bit about it. Okay, I'm going to take this little frame off mine here. And that's going to sit beautifully in the middle there. Angela says she wants some of these uh, concept cards. She's never seen them before. They're absolutely stunning. It's so true. They are just wonderful. Um, this is our Watercolour Escapes uh, collection. And these were a concept card that we had to go alongside them. But the artwork is phenomenal. And it these is concept beautiful. cards. I mean, we love concept cards at Hunky Dory. Um, and I love it when they're, there's, they're always a little bit different and this one definitely was. They fold perfectly, you've got everything you need to be able to make them the, and send them. the attention to detail as well, there's like no white showing no, here. Never. It is such an, a gorgeous complete card isn't it? It's beautiful. So then we're going to pop this decoupage element into the centre. And you could just go with like one layer on here. You don't have to permage this all up. Maybe you've got another topper you want to pop in here instead. Mm -hmm. um, you could put photographs in. Oh, a photograph would be cute. Yeah, maybe you've been on a, a nice, a nice long walk, and you've taken loads of pictures because you've got Especially that lovely kind landscape. of hillside. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Me and Stacey tried to get Oscar over one of those. Oh, did you? It was horrendous. I love how you're saying try. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> We, Stacey had to walk, I had to climb over it, but then he was trying to climb to get to me. So Stacey had to then put him on his lead and walk him a bit further down where there was a couple of like um, stones missing from the oh, okay, from, from the, wall. the wall. And then we could get him to climb over the wall because it was lower than the, the oh, steps. Bless but yeah, him. he's, um, we don't, we don't like those types of styles in our house because he just cannot get over them. Can't, can't figure them out. And my favourite ones are the ones that have the little um, wooden blocks for the dogs to actually go under. Cute. They're cool. Yeah. Bless it. Colleen says, such a quick make. Such yeah. a quick make and complete. You can make eight of these. With envelopes. Complete cards, with envelopes, with this box. How many people are having their fingers crossed, hoping in they've got the, these fantastic concept cards in their box that they've ordered? Let's add some of these gorgeous little butterflies. We should on. do some op like we need some reveal videos. Yes. When you get your Tell boxes, us what you've got yours. we need to see you opening them. We need to see your reaction. I think we need to start like a. Do you know like cream egg? Do how do you eat yours? Yeah. We need to do a how do you open yours? How do you open your box? Do you do it really carefully? Take one thing out of a time. Do you open it? Throw everything out. Yes. Like how? What do you do? Take videos. Tag us in them. We yeah. want to see. We would love to see. Okay, last one of our little butterflies here and just using one of our skinny little strips and just trimming that down to fit. It's just so, it, it's just a magnificent collection. I can't believe you're getting things like this in here. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And this is like just one small element of what was in that goodie box. You know, there was so much in there, wasn't there? Really, really cool. Isn't it beautiful? So it will open up to reveal that gorgeous scene in there as well. You've got, like I said earlier, you've got that 360 kind of coverage on there. So it just looks stunning from every single angle. And this could be, 
this could be the first card you ever make. Yeah. You know, maybe you're brand new. You you don't even know what these goodie boxes are, but you're thinking, I'm going to give it a go. Such a, goodie, yeah. uh, such a great price as well to try out lots of different products from Hunky yeah. Dory is to get yourselves one of these goodie boxes. You can buy them. They are £30 each. So you can buy them individually for £30 each. Or if you're wanting to buy multiples, then you absolutely can do. You can buy up to four goodie boxes and we can guarantee that they will be different boxes that are sent out to you. Um, so if you want to order four of those, you can do and they will be completely different. If you then want to order more boxes, of course we can't guarantee that those ones will be different. You might have some um, elements that sort of cross over within your boxes. However, um, definitely if you're wanting to get more than one, then do it in one order because that is how we can guarantee that they will be all different before we open our last box for the day we need to let you know about our win it weekly question um, you can win our fantastic aqua scoreboard and there's going to be three winners this week you need to like share and comment what unusual pet did the french poet gerard de nerval walk on the streets of Paris. I feel like if you say it with a French accent, it sounds better as well. Yeah, definitely. But I do also feel that Lisa's just been a bit mean, giving us questions like this, where we've got to pronounce things that we can't pronounce. Oh yeah, she does it to me all the time. I'm used to it now. Everyone else knows. <laughs> Nat can't pronounce these things. Um, what did he walk? Was it a chicken? I would love to see a chicken walking in Paris. A lobster <laughs> or a monkey? I hope they all had berets on as well, like properly yeah. dressed stripy jumpers yes, little, little red neckerchiefs <laughs> um what was the unusual pet that the french poet walked on the streets of paris let us know and you could be with a chance of winning this on friday's show right are we ready our third and final box <laughs> of the day um i always do, i want to be so careful as well because i don't want to ruin these boxes i know they're so pretty <laughs> and you can do so many good things with these boxes as well um like reuse them for yeah, other items definitely. make little storage um That's shelves it. for your they cupboards so or your cute. bookcases compared to like your plain brown boxes these are the ones that you're going to keep so cute okay another box another discount code in there for you i think this one's a bit jam-packed full with uh just all things paper craft oh. really uh animal arcadia oh nice we've got an animal arcadia topper set now this launched October? I want to say October. It's not even that old. So you've got that gorgeous topper set, <laughs> two sheets of cardstock within there. We do have a Moonstone die for you. This is a good one. It's an iris folding nice. Moonstone die. You've got the template and inside when you open this up, you've got the iris folding layout so you can make gorgeous iris folding cards like this beautiful one here. Love this cardstock. Colour, carnival, adorable, scorable. 24 sheets in here um i think your box is already paid for with this and your die definitely you covered there definitely we've then got one of our most favorite duo design paper pads <gasps> look at this right i can't believe we have stock of this look at this look at those papers it is stunning isn't and then it? on the reverse you've got those beautiful like shabby chic vintage designs and just going back oh, to the variety how different is that to that color carnival i know you know there's such a great mix in here absolutely fantastic and then you've got your animal arcade here as well just it's so mental many. uh we've then got some premier craft tools glue dots Ooh, essentials nice essentials um this is a great topper set as well that fantastic oh, that cool. uh dump like Monster, Monster trucks. trucks, absolutely awesome. We've also got for you, for anyone who has any 80s birthdays coming up, or maybe it's someone turning 60. Um, you could be doing them super cool retro birthday cards like this with Cute. all the funky um, imagery on there. We've got also another topper. This one is your Swan Lake topper. Ah. Gorgeously colors uh, throughout that one. Oh my goodness, we're not over there because we've also got a quick, cards Ooh. paper pad 16 cards instantly with this my goodness me i wonder how many cards we can make all together with what we've oh, already pulled I feel, out i feel the challenge coming on the maths there i feel like we need to like set someone off on that give them a goodie box give them a goodie box and just see how many yeah. cards they can make yeah we should video the whole thing yeah <sighs> we're not over there though you <laughs> might think that's it i would be happy we are that. done More i'd be happy, happy. Just you wait though, because we've got two more items in here that are going to blow your socks off. 
we've got our floral dreams Ooh. luxury um gorgeous acetate 16 sheets in here Look at these that. designs are so universal as well and to go alongside them we are giving you the full floral dreams topper collection wow this is a beauty of a collection there's it's so much so color within here yeah absolutely incredible sort of style stylized imagery for so many occasions Amory, i don't know what to I give you I just, yeah I, do you know what actually do you know what this is a perfect match top of favorites Ooh, color carnival yes that is, that is a good combo, isn't it? That is it? a great combination Definitely. in there. There's so many things that are going to work really nicely together here, though. Because if you look at, like, the beautiful uh, texts that you've got and the colours that you've got in here, look how nicely this yes. is going to work with your Swan Lake. So that's a match already in there. I was also thinking if you're going to use this and you go for, like, the browns or the blues that we've got in here, then you're covered for your Animal Arcadia. So any toppers you've got left over after you've used that cardstock, you're ready to go with that one. Um, what a great selection we've had today. Absolutely. It's, it's been amazing, really hasn't cool. it? It's been so cool. I'm just trying to think how many cards I could make from this now. Well, like, I, I feel like... I, just like in my brain. Yeah, I feel like we need to do this. Have I'm we got... I think that's like three. That's definitely four. Who, um, who could take on this that's challenge seven. this week? Who do we have? Who's in the house? Okay, we're going to go with... I think a seven by seven. Let me just check the size of this topper before we trim down. We're going to go use with that. the big one. We're going to go with the big one. Um, so let me just push this out so I can doubly check. I think size. easily you could be, with that durable score wall that you've got and the topper collection as well. I mean, oh that's, about, that's about 16 to 18 cards with the topper collection. Yeah. Then I've just gone through those individual toppers and i would say that that's coming up to about 15 so that's 30 cards already you sell them for a pound then you've already yeah. made your money you've got that die in there dies are tools for life you can make endless amounts of cards yeah the die with this fantastic paper behind there you know you could just use it as an aperture yeah you don't absolutely need to use it for iris folding yeah, you don't need to do the iris folding at all do you Okay, so we've cut a 7x7 seven seven black square and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do it the other way. I'm making it really hard work for myself when I can just do it that way. I just want to cut inch strips off here um, because we're going to um, kind of recreate do a, really funky background. a little bit of a, a Rubik's Cube background on nice. here. So let's just make sure we've got enough strips to do this. I think I'll just do four. That should be plenty. Um, and then we're going to chop those into squares. Colleen says, give it to chat cat. She's a whiz at challenges. <laughs> she definitely is. I feel like you need more than a day. I'm not going to lie. I do. Yeah, I don't think it's We've a... not even touched on the duo design paper pad there when we were up to that 30 cards. Uh, no, and you can make cards just with that. And you know what? what? I didn't, you? The quick, card, quick cards, I didn't even oh, cover yeah. that there. So we're already up to about probably 50, yeah. if not 55. Yeah, easy. And then you've got your cardstock. Yeah. This adorable I mean, scrubble make, that Anne-Marie is how, using. How many um, pages do you have in your geo designs? 48? Yeah. So you could make those lady pages, particularly, you could make those just into 48 8 by 8 cards, hundred percent. And just add a sentiment on, and like a ribbon and some pearls or something like that. Keep them really, really simple. There's so many things you can do, isn't there? It's uh, it's hard to actually put a number on it. Haley says, I love floral dreams. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Like maybe you've had that and you're thinking, well, actually, you know, you'd like another one. Take a risk on a goodie box because you might get it and loads of other stuff as well. Okay, I think, I'm hoping that we've got enough with this, these two strips actually. Cutting all these all into one inches. And then we are going to have to uh, go with our construction glue for this so that we can get that wiggle room. Yes. And get these exactly where we want them, I think, is it's going to be the best bet. So let's just pop that out of the way for now. And let me just see. I want to kind of keep them a little bit more random. So make sure we've not got Mixes too... Mixes of colour. Yeah. 
to use some more blues? Do you want me to cut some more squares? Uh, you can do. Oh, if, yeah. I, if I give you that piece. Yeah. And then we can get a little bit more variety in from that one. Are we just doing one inch? Just one inch is, yeah, I think. Because I think I can get six along and it just gives us a nice edge all the way around then. Um, and what I might do is to make this even easier. Actually, do you know what I might do is go in with my dots. Oh, yes, you've got glue and dots. Just, no, I'm just going to do my... Oh, are right, you dotty tape runner? Yeah. Good plan. Just do that so that I can kind of just position those on. Just for speed. But yeah, you could go with your glue dots. That's... Um, you've got a lot on there. You do have a lot in there. Absolutely. little splodges of construction glue as well yeah i was going to do the construction glue but i thought that might get a bit messy that was my thinking might get a bit messy especially because i'm trying to be speedy whereas these with your dots you can kind of lift up and reposition a little bit as well especially if you don't press them down too much to start with and once you've got that first row you know exactly where the rest are going to go so you can just go in and add the rest of your squares in. Um, let's go with that one. Okay. They're more purple. Those ones are greeny. Amazing. They're pinks and they're all blues. Wonderful. So we're just going to pop all of those on and we can just continue. How cool is this going to look though? It's going to look fab, isn't it? Especially, you know, when we pop this in the middle. We don't actually need to do the middle, do we? We can be really sneaky and just go around the sides. So let's just do that. Because we can. Let's get a blue one over here. Um, let's see where this is going. I feel like I've space them up a bit too close together let's just see how this one looks in this bottom corner we might need to just bring those down a little smidge just so that the spacing is a bit more equal there we go so just making sure you're using the tape or glue or something that just yeah. gives you that little bit of wiggle room is going to make it so much easier But your dots are just ideal because you can just get those little bits in place to get these stuck down almost exactly where you want them. Susan says I love this idea. It's just a great way of getting that colour in. It's a great scrap buster as well. It if is you've really, got really cool. loads and loads of scraps then this is perfect. I think things like um, like Rubik's Cubes are just, they never go out of fashion, do they? No. no matter when you're born. I mean, Joseph's got loads of them. He's got all sorts of different shapes as well. He's not just got square ones. He's got like crazy hexagonal ones and things like that. Um, it, it, they, everyone just loves them, don't they? He's got, um, there's a boy in his year. He's in the other class, the year five class, who is in the Guinness Book of Records for solving a Rubik's Cube. Really? Like the, the fastest for his age group, yeah. That's cool. I know, so he took it in when he couldn't do his, he just took it in school and got him to do it. <laughs> it was really cool. Okay, so let's see. Can looks so good, doesn't it? Just throw that topper on there, it looks fab, doesn't it? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the middle and just lose that kind of inner frame and re-pop it onto uh, some more of that gorgeous cardstock, that Quiller Carnival. So let's just grab that out of there. It's just so colourful and so much fun. And these kind of cards, you can just... You go to town with them, can't you? Yeah. You can go really crazy with the different designs and the different styles and um, really test out different layouts for your cardstocks. You can just Bring do in anything. loads of fun things that you don't necessarily yeah. use. So let's just get some of our strips onto here so that we can pop this onto our cardstock. And I'm going to go with um, 
like this super cool, I don't know what you call this one. It's like um, like just watercolory, like oh, so swirly, tie dye. It's just wicked. Let me see if we've you got some go more. Even, you know what would make this even cooler? Go on. Have we got a paper crimper? Oh my goodness. Paper uh, crimper. Because I mean, not in no here, not over here. I can see. We, eighties is just all about crimping, isn't it? It is definitely. Jess has got one. <gasps> got one. Amazing. Yeah, mine. Mine's on my trolley, I think. Okay. So, do you think we should crimp the topper? Or do you think we should crimp the cardstock behind here? Because that will mm, fit. Maybe the cardstock. Let's grab. Oh, you've got it. Have you got the trimmer? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the trimmer? It's here. Let's cut a strip of this. Just make sure it's going to fit in. Oh, that should fit. Yes. And let's put this through the crimper. Could be Ooh, a little glitter. You could, just you could even do like little glitter balls and stuff like that to go as like little embellishments. Yeah. Get your dies out, little circles, a yep. couple of passes on your crimper. Especially the rainbow, go. it looks oh, ace, doesn't so it? So good. So we're gonna put that back through. go this is why you just need all these things in your stash I know. just need and I'm gonna just pop that there so we've got a little bit of a pop of all of that color and then just trim off what we don't need there's still so much left that you've got on your top oh my as goodness, well you've only so used much. one yeah. of the toppers on there and this is already looking so cool. Um, seeing if we've got any chunkier foam pads. We do, but the black ones, but this is fine. It'll still do the job. And we are going on to the black card, so. It makes sense. Makes total sense. Oh, these are sticky ones, they're sticking to me. So we'll get this right in the middle, get our topper on, and then choose a sentiment. But there are so many on here. This is another one that would be a cool one for photos. Yes. Wouldn't it? We'll pop that in the middle. We're gonna go a little bit jaunty as well because we can. And then there are so many sentiments. It's crazy. So I'm gonna pop that in the middle. Look at them all. Oh, there's loads on here. There's so many. I think we need that 80s. I love that you're so retro as well. That's quite cool. Yeah. Well, that little pink one, what's the pink one say next birthday to Birthday girl. That's cute. Well, we could use both of those, couldn't we? Definitely. And we've still got <laughs> Absolutely loads. You could definitely how many sentiments have you got there? Three? Uh, on four. On here, one, no, two, on three, left. four. Four. Yeah. And four, four images. There you yeah. go. Four cards. Yeah. And that's after being quite extravagant with this Very one. Very extravagant. But so worth it. It is one of those more is more cards. It is for sure. It is indeed. And sometimes you just need those in life. So let's put that down at the bottom. I'm gonna put your so retro up at the top. Just get that one up there. And then I'm gonna pop birthday girl in the middle there. So again, just trimming off our pippage. And then we just need to get this onto a card blank. And we are done. 
it's super super fun it just shows how cool you can mix and match all of the items that you get within these boxes to make awesome cards so think about if you are someone who runs those craft groups or um you know you have centers where people can come and craft and yeah. whether it's for like younger children or older children um or even like older um people this is something that you know you are saving loads of yeah, money here it's perfect for craft groups so, isn't it you know grab a few boxes between you even if there's say it you're all putting in 10 pounds each yeah 10 pounds each grab four of the boxes you know everything's going to be different and you can stock up your stash for all your crafting fun throughout the year to come um, and you're absolutely going to be sorted with a great mix of products for like a third of the price yeah absolutely it's it's crazy isn't it that the value is just insane so we'll just finish off by putting that onto our card front when you're out before i couldn't find a six by six oh, so i no, trimmed a seven trim by it? seven down oops and then i've just found a six by six but oh, couldn't find a seven no. by seven i said that would happen <laughs> they're all the same they all look the same this is why yeah there we go so cool super retro it super is good really fun. really cool we and hope. so much left. I know. <laughs> so, honestly, so much left just with like the products that you've just used for that yeah. one card, not even talking about the rest of the box. Um, the value for money here is absolutely incredible. You have to be getting these goodie boxes because I think they are going to absolutely fly. If you want to get your goodie boxes, you absolutely can do. Um, there is guaranteed over £80 worth of products for £30 in each box that you get. If you want to get more than box one box, you absolutely can do. You can add up to four boxes in any order and we will guarantee that the bits and pieces inside will be uh, completely different they are non-refundable once you've opened them um, they will be coming out to you uh, today the girls are dispatching them already if you want to buy them overseas remember Anne Marie is at Hobby Maker tomorrow one o'clock with our launch of our goodie boxes and they are shipping internationally so if you can't get them through us don't worry get them through Hobby Maker tomorrow um, Anne Marie is also going to be there at 5 and 7 p.m. and she's going to be opening loads and loads of goodie boxes so if you want to get a full insight of all the different bits and pieces you could get in your box make sure you tune in um, this week and um, at Hobby Maker all week we're going to be showing you fantastic goodie boxes what you could be getting inside and challenging ourselves um, to little what we can make, make with sure, what we've got going tomorrow is it back it's me or bex i think i'm not sure which side i think we have to set a challenge for the week you can't I just use think... the topper kits no and i think as well maybe we should do some like how many cards can you make with one topper yes. set and different bits and pieces like that yeah definitely definitely, definitely mixing and matching just to show you exactly what you can do with what yeah. you're getting in your boxes um but thank you all for joining us so much today we've had so much fun and the fun is going to continue throughout the rest of the week um it's goodie boxes galore all week so make sure you are here 10 o'clock every morning and don't miss out the chance to get your goodie boxes if you are an international shopper on hobby maker tomorrow have a lovely rest of your monday and we'll see you all again very very soon